So to turn your Ozobot on, all you have to do is press the button on its side one time. Once you do that, a little light will turn on, indicating the power is going to the Ozobot and it's ready for use. Occasionally, you'll need to recalibrate your Ozobot. If it's not reading the codes correctly or if it's kind of traveling outside of your lines, that's an indication that needs to be recalibrated. And the way you do that is you draw a dark black circle about an inch and a half in diameter and you color that in solid black. You place your Ozobot on top of it and you squeeze the sides until your bot starts blinking a white light. Once you see that blinking, you release your power button and you wait for the Ozobot to move out of the circle and for the light to turn green. That means that it's been recalibrated. In order to charge the Ozobot, you'll notice that on the back of its body, there's a micro USB port. You simply plug the micro USB end into your Ozobot and you'll plug the regular USB end into your charger. Your Ozobot will light up and you'll know that it is charging and getting prepared to be used again.